Along our nation's coast, wetlands provide unrivaled fishing and hunting opportunities. Whether you're tangling with redfish in the Mississippi Delta, or casting the bonefish in the Florida Everglades, or just digging clams in Chesapeake Bay, coastal wetlands provide unrivaled economic and cultural benefits. Yet coastal wetlands and all the benefits they provide are under a constant barrage of threats from such things as overdevelopment, erosion, climate change, and oil spills. The Clean Water Act requires BP to pay billions of dollars in fines as a result of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. By passing the Restore Act that directs those funds at Gulf Coast Restoration, Congress can help assure that we put the Delta and her people back to work. Further inland, across the nation's farm belt, record high crop prices have instigated a massive rush to drain the prairie pothole region in order to make way for intensive row crop production. These interior wetlands, often called the North American Duck Factory, send mallards down to Louisiana, speckled belly geese to Texas, and pintails in Northern California. But in many regions, up to 50 to 90% of these wetlands have already been lost. And once they're gone, their ecological functions can never be fully restored. America's web of life depends on our web of water. And protecting fish and wildlife and water quality in places that we've all heard of, like Puget Sound, the Great Lakes, the Gulf of Mexico, often depends on us protecting water in places that we've maybe never even heard of. Yet the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimates that we still lose 100,000 acres of wetlands every year. That's a piece of ground several times the size of Manhattan. But the lucky thing is this, our elected officials can stem the tide of wetlands loss by making a few common sense corrections. They can start by restoring Clean Water Act protection to the potholes, marshes, and tidal flats that waterfowl and countless other species depend on. These are the same wetlands that provide drinking water to millions of Americans that help control floodwaters and that filter excess nutrients from agricultural runoff. Despite all the benefits of wetlands, a couple of Supreme Court decisions have left some of the nation's most important wetlands on the wrong side of the Clean Water Act. Those waters have waited long enough, and it's time for the president to make an administrative ruling that clearly restores the power of the Clean Water Act. America's hunting and fishing future is only as bright as our ability to protect fish and wildlife habitat. Nothing matters more. And our ability to protect fish and wildlife habitat comes down to our ability to protect wetlands. If you want to find out more about wetlands, about the threats they face, and the things that hunters and fishers can do to protect them, please visit trcp.org.